eating out, end of year shopping, traveling, watching television, going to the post office. Since we are out of the womb, we are consumers. The list mentioned above are basic things that we all consume at one point or another in our lives. As consumers, we get caught into the consumption spiral, which include a marketing and commodified culture. There are different styles of consumption, according to Saltic, Firat and Tensel. Conspicuous consumption is when the consumer have the tendency to buy expensive products to display their social status. Symbolic consumption invo involves consumers that make decisions based on symbolic meaning. Addictive consumption is mostly when consumers start to have a degree of dependence on certain products and services. And sacred consumption is associated with cultural or religious events that are not related to everyday events. Many of the styles mentioned are not healthy for consumers as they create dependence, addiction, or even get caught into the spiral of a show of society. A society that is 100% non-consumption based, but rather a healthier consumption based society. My initial thoughts about consumption was food consumption. It did not went beyond that while consumption in the general nowadays are all around us. For going to university, I had to take the bus every day and when using the bus, I didn't know that I was some kind consuming services. Services on one aspect that I didn't know could be consumed. I could not thought that my desires could be shaped or changed and were in the passive audience. Being a mass communication student with streaming marketing, I learned about consumer behavior and this helped me to reflect on my own behavior as a consumer. I learned about the marketing strategies and this has been an eye-opener knowing how marketers function to attract consumers. In my daily life, I always stand for high-end and, qu and good quality products. I did not question my consumption as such, but by growing up and learning about consumerism, I did. Being a mass communication student, we are to push into being producers and not only passive consumers. In a consumer society, there are different kinds of audiences, according to Adonu. I relate this theory to my own way of living. I associate myself to the active audience of the reception theory. When I watch advertisements on television and billboard, it always feels like I have to decode the message to get the true meaning and not believing straight away everything that has been displayed, as we all know by now that everything in advertisement cannot be trusted. In, in the reading, the meaning of things passed later. There is semiotics, which is the study of signs and symbols. The passive audience tends to understand more of the signifier without going beyond, while the active audience understands both the signifier and the signified. In the book Affluenza, when too much is never enough, where Hamilton and Denise explore the term affluenza as an unsustainable addiction to economic growth, this statement can be linked to my personal consumption when I learned to distinguish between hedonic and utilitarian value. When my needs has been a watch for the time, I could opt for something more rational and practical but would prefer a more luxurious one while both give the same time. Needs are being constructed while we have basic needs, marketers are using them to make profit by improving the needs and add functionality that sometimes consumers do not need. Practices like the Black Friday or Cyber Monday lead consumers into overconsumption. Consumers are attracted to the luxury fever but they still feel a void that cannot be fulfilled by money or material things. Over the past years, TV shows, singers and athletes have acquired fandom. This revolution has put marketers into new strategy. The only Samsung phone I have ever used was my first phone ever and was six to seven years back. Since then, I am an Apple user and have grown a strong brand loyalty. Richins refers to the taxonomy of consumer goals as a mechanism that shapes what and why consumers desire. In a world that status, values, and our daily lives are focused on consumer culture, our personalities have been shaped and our desire are toward materialism acquisition. From a very young age, our desire are being shaped. As a girl, I tend to go for pink and dolls, which is very stereotype, but I was shaped that way. So if we grew up without questioning our understanding of desires, we stay in the constructed and false desire. As a teenager and young adult, I love shopping. Nowadays, shopping is made easier with online shopping, loyalty programs, and all-night shopping. Shopping has changed in the years and will continue to change to make shoppers' lives easier. Timothy, in the chapter Recreational Shopping, Leisure and Labor, in the book Shopping, Tourism, Retailing, and Leisure, explore the different types of shoppers. Personally, I have a mixture of several shoppers depending on the situation.
Generally, I am a mixture of economic shopper and active shopper. The price is an important part of the shopping, while I strive for high quality products. I also pay close attention to the price. Through this reading, there is an exploration of buying and shopping. Buying is associated with the utilitarian part, while shopping is related to the leisure part. In the range of 20s, shopping is mostly a leisure activity rather than consumer who have greater responsibilities, for example, people with in the consumer society, tourism represents a large part of the economy. During holidays in a country, tourists tend to overconsume. During the few times I have traveled, I tend to go toward products that are rare or unavailable in my country. Once I went to visit Ile de la Réunion, and there we visited the active volcano. In many shops, the island is represented by the volcano. For many to read the connections with the past are created not only and, not, and perhaps not even primarily through their experiences of visiting these ancient sites. For many tourists, this Connection are formulated through the act of shopping in the gift shop. Places that were long ago only cultural are now part of increasing the economic activity. Consumption is a very complex topic that can be discussed in many ways. It is a part of our everyday life and cannot be eradicated easily. Though consumption is outgrowing and consumers are being easily led by marketers, it is important to learn about our own consumption and be able to reflect on it.